Hi, I'm Ashley, the host of Breathe Yoga, and today I'm bringing you some at-home fitness. So you're gonna need minimal equipment today. If you have a pillow, go ahead and grab a pillow. If you need to stay seated for your movement today, it's perfectly fine to be in a chair. I'll give you options to do the work seated as well as standing. So we're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up for our joints. We're gonna train our legs today. So from here, we're gonna start with our feet and you're gonna give me little circles with your ankles. You're gonna give me about five circles and then change the direction of your circles. Now, if you wanna go ahead and stand up today and do this stand go for that I just want you to be where you feel comfortable and strong we're gonna work from the earth up to work out any tension that we have and get our body warmed up now from here you're gonna lift a leg and point and flex that foot again you can do this seated if you need to make sure you're breathing wherever you are and switch that out point and flex now if you need to look to the floor to find a focal point for your balance as you point and flex now from here shake that out take a breath in you're going to grab your shin and pull the knee up toward the chest pull the knee up now if you're seated you're going to do the same thing you're just going to pull up and release pull up and release make sure you're using that breath to do that good four more Here's four, three, two, and one. Now let's focus on opening up the hips. If you're standing, you're gonna pull that knee across the body and just open up the hip. If you're seated, you're gonna pull the knee up and just take it out, tap the toe, pull it in. Pull the knee up, take it out, tap the toe, pull it in. So wherever you are, I want you to work at a place that feels good to you. Good, nice. Four more, three, two, and one. So now we move into some body weight squats. So just let that range of motion just be small to begin. We're warming up the hips and the knees. Now, if you're in a seated position, I want you to just take a few times sitting up and sitting and standing for me. Sit up nice and tall and then sit and stand good you've got four more and as your range of motion feels better as you start to warm up you can make that movement a little bit bigger we're gonna go five more here and if you're taking a slower pace that's fine three two and one nice shake it out just a bit all right, so from here, we're gonna work on the abductors and adductors, which are the inner outer thighs. So if you have a pillow, I want you to take that pillow and I want you to place it between the thighs. You're gonna sit up nice and tall and your knees are just over your heels and you're gonna squeeze that pillow, tiny little squeezes on that pillow. Now, if this is not enough for you and you feel like you want a little bit more intensity, what I want you to do is find a wall. So go ahead and grab your pillow, go ahead and stand up, find your way to a wall. And what you're gonna do is what a wall sit. So you're gonna sink down so that like you're sitting in a chair, your legs are parallel to the earth, feet are hips distance, you're gonna place this pillow between the thighs and you're gonna give me little squeezes right here. And that really increases that intensity through the thighs. You're gonna feel your quads start to burn. You're gonna feel your inner outer thighs. Breathe. Give me about five more seconds right here. Four, three, two, and one. To come out, press your hands into the wall and press yourself up. Good. Now, if you're seated, we're gonna work on the outer thigh. So just get rid of that pillow. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tap that foot out tap the foot out focus on that outer hamstring and the glute so your glute is your booty you're just going to press out so notice that my toe is just tapping in and out on the earth you've got five more on this side four three two and one other side tap and come in good job now I'll show you on round two when we do this, if you need a little bit more from this position, what to do from here. Focus on keeping that hip square, focus on the muscles on the outside of the leg. Good, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Good, take a breath. All right, so we're going back to our pillow squeezes pillow squeezes go ahead and grab your pillow and place it between the thighs and give me little squeezes 
in. So tiny little squeezes and you should feel some things start to light up. Good, breathe. Little squeeze in, squeeze, 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release that. If you're on the wall, come off the wall. So if you're on the wall and you feel like you need a little bit more work here, what I'm gonna have you do is stand up in a little squat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap the foot in and out right here. Tap in and out. So again, you can do this seated, just tapping that foot in and out as you need to. Good. Chest is lifted. Breathe. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If you're standing, you need to shake it out. Go for that. Other side, sink into that squat position. Weights in the heel. You should be able to wiggle the toes of that foot and tap out and in. Belly strong, shoulders are relaxed, jaw is relaxed. See if you can put a smile on your face while you start to feel that fire. Good, breathe. Nice, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stand up and shake that out. All right. So round three, we're going to do the exact same thing. If you need to be seated, grab your pillow. If you want to try the wall sit, grab the wall sit. All right. Take that pillow between the thighs. Sit up nice and tall, feet hips distance, and we're squeezing. Tiny little squeezes on that pillow. If you have a ball, a squishy ball, and you want to put that between your thighs, feel free to do so. But a pillow is something that's easily accessible. You can grab off your couch and it does the work. Good. Nice. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Good, release your pillow. And you're gonna go back to that tap out and tap in for 20. Good, so we started with about 15 reps on round one. We bumped it up to 20 on round two, and we're gonna keep it here. Good, building that intensity. So that gives you a little time if you want a little bit more, or if you're moving a little slower, gives you a good, a good amount of time to get at least 10 of those in if you can. Nice, we're halfway. Good job. Really focus on that movement. Focus on the muscles that you're working for four, three, two, and one. Good, shake that out, and other side, 20 times. Now you should start to feel a little heat building on the outside of the leg into the glutes. If you have a band or something that you could put around your thighs to create resistance, you could also do that here to increase that intensity. We're halfway, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake that out. So we're gonna do one more set like that. One more set, same thing. And this time I'm gonna join you on the wall if you're on the wall. So go ahead and grab that pillow. Go ahead and find your way to the wall. Have a seat. Squeeze your pillow 20 times. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse. Try not to hold yourself up with your hands. You're going to let those hands relax if you can or place your hands on your hips. Good. Ten more. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place your hands on the wall. Press through your feet to press yourself up. Go ahead and throw that pillow on the chair. And then I'm gonna join you standing for those tap outs again. So go ahead and sink down into that squat position. You're gonna tap out and tap in for 20. Good, breathe. Make sure the weight is in the heel of that supporting leg. And we're halfway. You got this, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Good, stand up, shake it out, other side. Sink into that squat and tap out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Halfway in the last time you gotta do this today, so hang with me, you're almost there. We've got six more. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake that out. So now we're gonna move into some squats. Again, you can sit and stand from the chair if that works for you. So what we're gonna do is feet about hips distance apart. If you need to turn the toes out just slightly and that's more comfortable to you, please feel free to do that. So you want your knees, your hips, and your toes in the same direction. Go ahead and give me a squat. Good, and just come right up. So the weight's in the heels. We're keeping our chest lifted here. Now notice my knees are not coming in, and what I mean by that is they're not coming in this way. They're staying in line with my toes, so I'm working all the muscles of my legs. You might feel your quads, the front of the legs light up. You might feel your glutes, your booty light up. You might feel your hamstrings, the back of the legs light up. That's all normal. Now, if you're sitting in a chair and you're just standing up, you're just gonna do as many reps as you can as we're moving through our squats. We got five more to hit 25, four, three, two, last one, and one. Good, shake that out. Breathe. So we're gonna do two more rounds of 25 squats. That's your goal. If you don't hit that number, that's okay. Just be where you are today, seating, seated and stand up as many times as you can during the time that I'm squatting. Or if you want a little more intensity, you wanna add a little hop into your squat, you have some weights, you wanna add some weights, feel free to do any of those things. All right, round two, here we go, body weight squats. Squat, so we have 25 reps to get through. Your belly is strong, the weight's in the heels, you're keeping your knees in line with your toes. Good. At any point you feel fire, hang with me. Now it's okay to feel a little fire. You shouldn't feel any pain in the knees, the back, the hips, anything like that. But if you're feeling fire, that's good. We're challenged, we're working. We're on rep 15, we've got 10 to go. 10. Stay with me, nine, eight, seven, you got this, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one, good. Come on up, shake that out. If you're seated, just give your legs a little shake as we recover here for about 20 seconds. So we're gonna do one more round of this, and then we're gonna move into a new exercise. At any point you need a drink of water, go ahead and grab a drink. If you need to skip something and take a little bit of a break, and then come back in with me, do whatever works for you. Again, I want you to feel strong, but challenged. Okay, so we got one last round of these body weight squats. All right, challenge yourself here. Try to stay with me the entire time if you can. Here we go, 25 reps. Count them down with me, because it's the last time you gotta do these type of body weight squats today. Now we'll have something a little bit more into the squats, but last time you gotta do these. Good, eight, nine, and 10. So if you haven't hit 25, what I want you to do is just set a goal right here. How many more can you do? I'm on rep number 15 right here. I've got 10 more to go. So set yourself a goal and see if you can get a few more in. Nice. I've got five more. Here's five, four, three, Two, last one, last one, and one. Good, shake that out. You just did 75 squats if you kept up with me. So good job. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and have a seat back into our chair, and you can just place the pillow behind you if you need to. So we're gonna work on the quads, the front of the legs. And so what we're gonna do is I want you to imagine that you have something heavy on your leg, and you're just gonna extend your leg out and lower it down on my count. Hands can go on the chair if you need to, core is nice and strong. So leg is gonna lift up long, hold, and then slowly release. Lift up, hold, squeezing the top of the leg, the quadriceps, and then 
slowly release. Try not to lock out your knee completely. You're gonna keep a little micro bend in the knee rather than hyper extending that. Good, stay with me. Up, hold, and slowly release. Up, hold, and slowly release. Now, if you were to have some ankle weights, you could put those on. If you have a cable or a band, you can put that on the back of the chair, wrap that cable around your leg for a little extra resistance if you need it. Good, you got three more here. Up, hold, slow release. Up, hold, slow release. Last one, up, hold, and slow release. Now drop that leg. All right, same thing, other side. One side might feel a little bit stronger than the other. That's normal. Just kind of be an observer of that with your body. All right, pull that leg up, belly strong, lift up, hold, and slow release. So we're doing 15 of these. Up, hold for two, and slow release. Up, hold for three, and slow release. Up, hold for four, and slow release. You're doing awesome. Up, hold. Again, if you're, you're going a little slower than me, that's perfectly okay. I just want you to move your body, challenge yourself, feel the muscles that we're working, maybe feel a little fire. Good. Nice. We've got five more if you're with me. Here we go. Up, hold, and slow release. Up, hold. Squeeze those muscles and slow release. Three more. Up, hold, squeeze, and slow release. Up, hold. Nice, and slow release. One more. Up, hold, and slow release. Good, shake that out. If you feel like you need to stand up and shake it out, feel free to do that. So we're gonna go right back into the other side. Same thing, okay? This time, we're gonna lower down even slower. So we're gonna do 10 reps instead of 15. All right, lift up, up, hold. Now lower down four, three, two, one. Up, hold, squeeze the muscle. Lower down, four, three, two, one. Use the muscle to control it. Up, hold. Lower down, four, three, two, one. Again, up, hold. Lower down, four, three, two, one. Do it again. Up, hold. Nice, lower down, four, three, two, one. Up, hold, we're halfway. Lower down, four, three, two, one. One, up, hold, squeeze. You should be feeling some fire. Slow release, up, hold. You've got three more. Four, three, two, one. Up, hold, squeeze it. Four, three, two, one. Again, up, hold. Keep that core strong. Lower down, four, three, two, one. Last one, up, hold. Four, three, two, one and one and shake that out good job same thing left side all right so just make sure as we move through this that you're not slowly rounding out through the spine you want to keep your body up nice and strong if you need to take a little set break and lower the leg feel free to do so hands on the chair lift that leg up up hold lower down four three two one up hold lower four three two one up hold squeeze the muscle four three two one up hold again four three two one so this is called time under tension when you do not have body or you do not have weight or something heavy to put tension on the muscle this is a great way to do so with just using your body weight up hold four three two one four more up hold four, three, two, one. Check in with your core. Up, hold. Four, three, two, one. Two more. Up, hold. Four, three, two, one. Last one. Up, hold. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shake that out. Go ahead and stand up. Shake it out if you need to. So we're going to do one more set of leg extensions to strengthen the quads. All right, so round one, we did kind of at tempo pace. Round two, we did a lower down slow. This round, we're gonna come up on a three count, hold, lower down on a three count. All right, here we go. Hands on the chair, pull that leg up. Up, one, two, three, hold. Lower, three, two, one. Again, up, up, up. Squeeze the muscle. 
three, two, one. Slow and controlled. Three, two, one. Squeeze that muscle. Three, two, one. Good job. Up, up, up. Hold and squeeze. Lower, lower, lower. Good job. Up, up, up. Hold, squeeze. Lower, lower, lower. Now you might start to feel the core. Up, up, up. Good, hold. Lower, lower, lower. You got two more like this. Up for three, hold. Down, three, two, one. Last one. Up, up, up. Hold, squeeze. Now down for three. Three, two, one. And shake that out. So which one was harder to you? At tempo, the lower down on the four count, or three, two, and three. All right, other side, left side. Here we go. Lift up. Up three, two, one. Find your tempo. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Here we go. Up, up, up. Hold, squeeze. Down, down, down. Belly strong. Up, up, up. Hold. Down, down, down. Slow and controlled. Three, two, one. Hold, squeeze. Three, two, one. You got six more. Up, up, up. Hold, squeeze. Lower, lower, lower. Halfway. Three, two, one. Hold, squeeze. Lower. Three, two, one. Four more. Up, up, up. Hold, squeeze. Three, two, one. You got this. Three more. Up, up, up. Hold, squeeze. Three, two, one. One. Last one. Up, up, up. Hold, squeeze, belly strong. Three, two, and one. Good job. Shake that out. Now, as you stand, we're going to come around to the back of the chair if that's available to you. So go ahead and turn your chair or just come to the back of the chair. So now we're going to work on the back of the leg, the hamstrings, and it's essentially kind of the opposite movement of what we did for our leg extensions. So you're going to hang on to the chair. You're going to shift the weight into the right foot. We're going to start on the left side this time so you can see me. And what we're going to do is you're going to bend, flex your foot, and you're just going to curl up and lower down. Tap the toe. All right, we're going to do 20 reps. Here we go. Up, down, up, down, up down. Keep that core nice and strong. Make sure you're not locking out the knee on the supporting leg. You should start to feel that back of the leg contract and a little fire there. Good. We're halfway. You got 10 more on this side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Nice, shake that out, other side, same thing. Up and tap the toe. So you've got 20 reps to warm on those hamstrings back up. Nice, start to feel a little fire in the back of the leg, the posterior chain. Again, make sure you're not locking out the supporting leg. Belly is nice and strong. Good, we're halfway here, halfway. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to move into a sumo stance squat. So sumo squat, you're going to be wider than your hips and your toes are going to point out. Okay. Hands can go on the chair for support. If you need to see what it looks like here, you're going to come right here into sumo stance. So what I want you to do is just lower down and press up. Again, knees and toes are in the same direction. So if you need that chair for support, you're just gonna come right here. And I really want you to focus on keeping that chest lifted, sinking the tailbone down toward the earth as you squat. If you don't need the, the chair, just bring your hands to heart center. Or for a little bit more of a challenge, you're gonna take the hands over your head. So go to the place that works for you. Take your time here, there's no rush. If your squats are right here today, that's perfectly okay. If that's where your range of motion is, that's where I want you to work. If for any reason the sumo stance is not comfortable to your hips or your knees, just go back to a regular squat or sit and stand. Five more here. Four. Three. 
two, and one. Go ahead and stand up, shake that out. Now from here, we're gonna move into some calf work. So you're gonna bring your feet about hips distance apart, hands on the back of the chair. You're gonna lift the heels and lower down. Belly's nice and strong. Now if you need to do this seated, you're just gonna lift the heels, pressing the balls of the feet into the earth. So I can show you what that looks like if you need me to. It looks just like this. You're just gonna lift, squeeze, and lower. So you can do it seated or standing. I'll stay seated. We're gonna do about 10 more of these. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake that out. Now, we're gonna go back to those hamstring curls. So, go ahead and find your place at your chair. I'm gonna turn my chair around. And this time, we're gonna go a little bit slower for the second round. Okay, so shift the weight into the right foot. Toe is light. You're gonna come up, squeeze, and lower four, three, two, one. Up, squeeze. Squeeze it good. Lower four, three, two, one. Up, squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Again, up, four, three, two, one. We're halfway. We're gonna do five more. Good, and recover. Nice. Up, slow to recover. Get that little stretch, and then back up again. Four, three, two, one. Last one. Up, squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Good, shake that out. Other side, here we go. Up, four, three, two, one. Nine more to go. Belly strong, slow and controlled. Good. Squeeze, four, three, two, one. You're halfway right here. Make sure you're getting a good squeeze when you pull that heel up toward the glute. Foot is flexed. Four more. Good, three more. Up, squeeze, four, three, two, one. Last one. Good, slow to release. 20 sumo squats, last time you gotta do these. Take it out wide, chest is lifted, knees are over heels, and lower and lift to the place that works for you. So using that chair for a little support as you need to. Chest stays lifted, knees and toes are in the same direction. If you need to make a shorter stance or go back to that body weight squat, feel free to do so. Or if you need to sit and stand in your chair. Good, we've got nine more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there, stay with me, three, two, last squat of the day, and one. Nice, go ahead and come up, and we're gonna hit those calf raises and pull it back into some stretching. So go ahead and stand or have a seat, whatever works for you. Feet about hips distance apart, press up, squeeze, and lower. So we have 20 of these total, and then we're gonna do a little stretching, and then you will be done for your movement today. Good, breathe. 10 more, 10. Nine, eight, seven, almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake that out. So what I want you to do now is go ahead and take that right foot out front and just give me a little hinge forward into that hip. Now if you wanna do this standing, you're just gonna stand Weight of the body shifts into that leg and you just hinge back through that hip. Keep a little bend in the knee, your heart pulls forward. Inhale up, switch out the feet, same thing. Exhale back, chest is lifted, soft standing knee, little micro bend in that knee. Good, breathe. Inhale, come up. Good, go ahead and have a seat wherever you are. You're gonna cross your right ankle over the left knee, foot is flex, flex, sit up nice and tall, and exhale forward if you need a little bit more. Chin is pulling toward the thigh. One more breath here. 
Inhale, come up. Good. Switch out the legs. Sit up nice and tall. Big breath. And maybe you pull forward if you need a little bit more. One more breath here. Inhale, rise up. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, from a place of light within me, I honor and celebrate the light within you. Namaste.